guys, it's Jill Summers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This palette came out a while ago, but I actually just got my hands on it because I saw it on sale um, a couple, I think a month ago. So I grabbed it. It was something that I didn't know if I was going to like, but now that I have it, I am super in love with this. It's been one of the palettes that I use and just have with me whenever I travel or just on every day. So I wanted to show you guys what looks I can create with this one. I think I want to do two looks today because... I've had a lot of people say, like, whenever I mention to them how good this palette is, I've had a lot of people say that it's very, very dark, and I wanted to show you guys how you can create some of some looks for daytime as well. So I'm going to be doing kind of a daytime look, something very simple, and then later on I'll be doing a little something a little bit more formal and for night. So yeah, before I get started, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so this is the eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay. It's called Bar Born to Run. And it retails for $49. Um, you can get it at Ulta right now. I think it's on sale for $22. That is where I got this one. It says that it brings 21 shadows and a full-size mirror. I don't know how many shimmers versus how many um, mattes there are. But there's also metallics in here. It says micro sparkle, satin finishes, mattes, shimmers, and metallics. And it brings 0 0.02 ounces per pan. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the packaging. It has this beautiful just pictures of different places, different locations. I think it kind of has like a travel um, meaning behind it, obviously. So it is a plastic material, but it's like very hard. Um, I think it looks really, it feels really nice. This part right here is obviously a paper, but it's really soft. It has a magnetic closing, but I think it's really like soft. You can't really feel it. And then this is a mirror. I think it's a really full and good size mirror. And then you have your shadows right here. This falls all the way back which is kind of something that really annoyed me the other day when this one the only, this was the only mirror that I had with me because I wanted it to stand up, but I couldn't make it stand up. I had to lean it on something. But here are your shadows. And I think just the different shades that they show are stunning. There's so many things that you could do with this. I just love it so much. Um, my favorite shade is this one right here. I just love it. I feel like the mattes on this one are so pigmented and so buttery. You're going to see in a second. But yeah, it retails for $49. I'm going to count how many mattes I see right here. So I see seven mattes. I think I see seven mattes and three metallic shimmers. I think the metallic ones are this one right here and this one because they do look a little bit more foiled than the other ones. And then you have like this four over here, these two, and that on these two. Oh, three actually. So you have four mattes, three right here. So yeah, I think it's a really good selection of colors. We're going to just jump right into it. I'm going to be putting just some makeup on my face. Um, I want to do my eyebrows and put some makeup on my eyes. And then we're going to just right, jump right into it. Face makeup is on. Now I'm going to move on to just doing something on my eyes. I'm dipping into the Born to Run palette. And I think I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This one is called Weekender. And it's a beautiful brown. I'm just going to be putting this kind of on my crease. It's not going to do much to start with because it's very close to my skin tone but I think it's just a nice you know warming shade for your eyes since I already have my face makeup on I am going really really soft with this because I don't want any fold back on my face you can see right there how it like darkened it just a tiny little bit really didn't do anything and then I'm going into the shade Riff right here I do really have to say, since I started using this palette because I have used it many times, I couldn't just wait till I could review it. Um, I'm putting this in the outer corner, by the way. What really intrigued me about this is how easy the looks were being created. Just because like the pigmentation and the blendability of this palette is so insane. I find that Urban Decay shadows are really, really good. Like there's a palette, um, I think it's the Electric palette. I haven't been able to find any other palette that looks like that one when I'm looking for like very metallic colors. And the fact that they're all shimmers and they blend out so nicely just blows me away. So, I don't know. I don't know why people don't pay more attention to Urban Decay shadows. And even when I was looking at the reviews for this one, there weren't that many good reviews. And people were just saying that this palette is very dark. They're, like, very just scared to buy it and then not have any looks to do with it. But it's such a stunning palette. I mean, look at this. Like, this is blending out so nicely. And I'm not, I'm not even trying. Like, this probably took me 30 seconds and this would be like a look for me just right there with some lashes and i don't know it's such a good palette so i'm gonna just pack it up a little bit more on the outer corners because i want to go with something a little bit deeper too don't want to do something too too much because like i said this is a day look um maybe hopefully i don't get carried away i'm gonna go into the shade baja right here 
and I'm putting this kind of in the middle just to give it a little bit more of some type of color because I'm dressed really dark today so I don't want to go with a dark brown or anything I kind of want to bring some color back I'm doing everything just with this one brush from Morphe this one is Oh, it doesn't have a name on it. Oh, M433 for our shimmer. So we definitely have to use a different brush because I want something a little bit more flat. And I'm going to go into Ignite right here. And this one looks really, really nice. I feel like this one is one of the metallic -y shades. It just feels so nice. I would probably recommend you can put this one with your finger because it just feels so buttery even when I'm touching it with the brush. But I just get that feeling from it. But it's such a pretty and stunning shadow. You can see it right there. It has great pigment. It just looks really nice. So this look took me about three minutes. And I feel like I look so put together and like I really, you know, spend time on my look. So I don't know why people keep saying that this is not a good palette because I love it so much. I'm going to go back into Riff right here. And I'm kind of going over my crease just to blend everything out so there's not harsh lines or anything. And I'm going on the other side as well. And like, there you can see, like, are you kidding me? This is really pretty. This is probably the most that I try when I'm going to work. All right, now I'm moving on to my Laurel Lash Line. I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going to go for a riff right here. And I'm going to be placing this right underneath my eyes. I like that shade really opened up my eyes. My eyes look a little bit more awake now because I am struggling this morning. It is so early in the morning. It's insane. All right, so I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I think it looks really pretty. Actually, let me go with a darker shade. I'm going to go to Punk right here. And I'm just taking a little bit of this and putting it very close to my lash line. Just to give it a little bit, just a little kick. So there is our look. It's super easy. You guys saw that. I love this palette so much. But I'm going to be putting just some lipstick and some um, mascara. And then I'm not going to be putting any lashes because obviously I'm going to work. Guys, okay, so this is finished look. As you can see, it's something very simple just for the morning. And it doesn't look very heavy. It doesn't look like you overdid it. It just looks really, really nice. So I think that this palette actually has a lot of options for people, you know, that like something a little bit softer and that also want to experiment a little bit with darker colors, like smoky eyes. It's a perfect palette for smoky eyes of any sort. These shadows right here, these shimmers, are stunning. I feel like this color just blows me away. The one that I used today also was really nice. So I just feel like there's so many things that you can do with this. I'm um, sorry if this, this video felt a little bit rushed, but you're going to see on the second part that I will spend my time doing it. But that just goes to show how easy it is just to grab this palette in the morning and just like do something super quick because now I feel like I'm ready for work. So this is the final look. Um, this is all that I created. I only used three shades of the palette and I feel like it looks really nice, super put together. And it's something just super simple to just use in your everyday life. You are going to see what I create next um, for the night look. All right, let's start with our night look. And I think I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't really know which colors to start with. So I think I'm going to start with Riff right here, which is one of my favorite shades on this palette. So I'm grabbing that one, and I'm just going to be grabbing a Morphe M514 brush. And I'm putting this one kind of on my crease. So I'm just applying this right on my crease and kind of blending it towards my inner corner doing, you know, windshield washing motions, and you can see that this builds up super, super quick, super easy to blend. I don't really have to try really hard. All right, so that was super easy. I am now going to darken that up a little bit more, and I'm going into Good As Gone right here with the same brush and I'm applying this right on the crease but a little bit lower kind of on my lid and I'm also doing the windshield wash motions it's gonna look like my eye got punched for a second but you'll see it'll all come together
bringing it a little bit more to make it pop a little bit. I'm not putting too much pressure on the brush. I'm kind of just, you know, slowly moving it left and right. But I definitely want that brown to really pop through. I'm taking the same brush as a clean one, but it's the same type of brush. And I'm going into Riff once again. And I'm going to be blending this kind of over top of that brown. Just making sure that there's no harsh lines or anything. Just really blending that out. I feel like also really quickly you can actually go really dark with this shot with this palette. So I kind of feel why people who are saying that this is actually maybe too dark for them, but I also think that they should probably just give it a try because oh that is so easy to just come up with a look and I don't know, I just I have a special, like, this palette has a special place in my heart right now. Going back into Good As Gone, I'm going to be putting just a little bit on the crease one more time. Just in case we lost some of that brown. Okay, tight. I'm trying to, like, emphasize it a little bit more. Again, going super slow. Um, I'm going to take just a smaller brush, kind of a packing one. I'm going to take the Morphe M506, and I think I'm going to go into the shade jet right here which is the black and i'm going to be putting this on my inner corner and my outer corner and i'm just packing it on obviously i'm not trying to go too high that's why i applied the brown because i even though i want it to be a smoky eye i want it to be kind of a softer smoky eye not like completely black even though we'll get there. We're really packing that outer corner and the inner corner and then connecting it right on the center. And if I had to pick a shade from this palette, it would probably be a riff. And I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit better right in the inner corner. And, you know right here I don't know I don't want to blend it all away but I definitely don't want like any harsh lines all right so I'm gonna go back to the center as you can see I left a little bit open but not too much I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm gonna be applying a shimmer and the first one that I'm going with is it's called wonderlust and this this one right here and I'm kind of gonna be putting this on the sides it's not gonna show up too much because it's close it's a very dark green but I'm just applying this kind of in the outer corner towards that black and kind of in the inner corner right here and then kind of connecting it on the top so kind of doing a smaller halo but like closer to the center and lastly I'm going with this shade right here with the other side of my brush and this one is called Big Sky and this is my favorite shade from the palette I really hope it's, it pops through so I love it so much I'm going to be applying just a little bit off Fix Plus on my brush because I want that big sky to really pop. And I'm going to go over the center. There we go. And I'm going to go into a jet right here, which is the black. I'm just putting this in the outer corner like we did before, moving it upwards and onto the inner corner because we obviously lost some of that black. I'm really loving this look. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm gonna put something on my brow bone and I think, um, I think I'll take this one first, but I don't know if this one has a lot of shin shimmer to it. Actually, let me swatch it. It looks a little bit on the, yeah, it looks more matte than anything else. So maybe I'll go to Stranded right here, which is a lot more golden than I would go for, but so I'm putting this as a brow bone and actually that looks really pretty. It's definitely more on the golden side, but I dig it. And onto um, Good As Gone right here. And I'm going very close to my lash because this one's going to be really dark. I'm 
Next, I'm going to riff right here. And then I'm just going to be blending this out right underneath that shade. Alright, so I'm going to be applying some lipsticks and some mascara, and then I'll be back to let you guys know how I'm feeling about this look. Alright guys, so here's the final look. This is my look for the night, and as you can see, I really love this look. I really have no complaints. I feel like smoky eyes are such a just aggressive look, but it definitely gives you a little bit of personality. More personality, I would say, and I just really, really love them. I thought it was really easy to just do a look with this one. It didn't really look messy. It doesn't look like someone punched you in the eye. It's super blended. It was just so easy to use, and that's why I love the shades over here. So as you can see, this palette has is actually really nice there's so many things that you can do with it there's so many colors and so many shades so many things to combine together and it just blends really nicely the pigmentation is insane this black is black enough but not super super black where like you know it's not the blackest black ever but it definitely will do the job these shades over here were so nice the one that i used this morning was also exceptional i just really really love this palette if you see it on sale um, definitely grab it because you will not be disappointed. I promise you either you're a beginner or you love makeup and you have tons of palettes You will love this either way because there's so many things that you can do with it And I feel like I'm just you know repeating myself over and over but I just love this palette so much And I think the colors are just super nice. I probably wouldn't have purchased this like I said before I saw it a million times when it came out I saw it in store a couple of times again, and it just never caught my attention I think it's the packaging that throws me off a little bit. I like the idea, but it just doesn't look like something that, I don't know, for some reason it just never looked like something I wanted to get. And then it went on sale and I was like, oh, okay, fuck it, like I'll just do it. Here I am, so in love with it. I super recommend it. This is one of my favorites. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did something a little bit different where I included, incorporated two looks into one video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you on my next one. Bye!